Hi everybody, welcome to Dishing in Montclair with Patch.com. I'm Alma Schneider and today our celebrity home chef is Miss Patty Safian. She is a yoga teacher and acupuncturist and she specializes in fertility. We're going to learn some great tips about cooking when you're on the run and how to create a bean and corn salad when you have very little time. Stay tuned. All right, Patty. You know, Patty's my sister, by the way. We're related. Just kidding. But don't we look a lot alike? Patty, you have a busy life. You have a lot of clients, but you have two kids. Exactly. How do you get dinner on the table? Homemade meals. Okay. So, in reality, I would love the idea of being able to soak the beans and, you know, have everything all prepared, but mm -hmm. that never happens. So, I just say, let me do the best I can do. Anyway, so basically, um, I just recently learned that inside a lot of... Um, these canned products, they put some sort of an ingredient that's not good. Yeah. And because of that, you know, it is ideally better to soak, but really who has time? And meanwhile, I am using this corn that um, probably has the chemical in it, which I would rather not use, but sorry, I, I, I am. You so gotta do what you gotta you do. Gotta, you know what? You do the best you can do, and now I use, this is the only company, Eden Organic, actually makes um, without the formaldehyde. So buy your canned goods from Eden. Yeah, Wait, corn and bean salad? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Can I have another can? That's good to hear. Beans are good for you. They make you fart. They do. They do. That's one that's thing. That's no joke. That it's is true. no joke. By the way, I'm making this in also a bowl that I can transport into the, um, into the refrigerator so that it's already done. Yes. Then I take my garlic, which we actually have a fabulous garlic press, which Alma is going to show you. This is a garlic press that is very simple. You can actually even use it with the peel on it. It's from the Pampered Chef. I got it probably wow. about 12 years ago or 10 years ago. Stick the garlic clove in there. I'll show you. Here, give me a peeled piece. Oh, I mean, an unpeeled no, piece. Yeah, I'm that's sorry. What I thought. So we have a peel on the garlic. Close it up, and we squeeze it in, and it the peel remains oops, inside the garlic press, and it just oozes out, and then you just get the excess off with a knife, and then I'm you're done. I'm getting that tomorrow. Isn't this awesome? That in. Then I have some tomatoes. I happen to have heirloom tomatoes today, organic, which are lovely. How long does this take? Not that long, and it looks pretty, and I don't even have to add that many. My kids like it sometimes, you know, to have the variety of colors it adds. Mm -hmm. And then I throw in a little bit of um, my basil, which is very lovely to add in. So we take a little basil. You can even just do it with your fingers, which mm -hmm. is fine. Just add it up. And we'll be honest with you viewers at home. This is not real basil, but we didn't have it. If you know what that green leafy vegetable is, comment. And you might get a little surprise coming to you. Comment on patch.com on this video. Let us know what you think this green leafy vegetable is. Yeah. Okay. About that. So and a little don't need precise, precise, precise enough, enough. But to me, I would eyeball that. I would say that's about two tablespoons. And I actually do and start it. with less than more because you can always add more. You cannot take away. Good point. Mm. A little salt. A little salt. It looks like a little pinch of salt. A little pepper. Mix it in. And these are all subject to personal taste. Yes. Love that idea. I like it. My older, younger twin sister, <laughs> she teaches me a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> Thank you for being on Dishing in Montclair. I'm Alma Schneider. This is Patty Safian. Thank and you. stay tuned for our next episode when you find out who our next celebrity home chef will be. <laughs> Bye.